So my moving experience um, over the last 15 years has been so many, good and bad, but one that stands out to me is a seller was trying to move out of her townhouse. It was day of closing and buyers were doing their final walkthrough. Our seller was not moved out of her unit and the movers were there. One mover on crutches, two other movers trying to get things out as quickly as possible. So up we go to help this seller move out. I picture this, I'm in a full suit, blazer, jacket, pants, high heels. Pulled the high heels off and we helped these movers uh, get this seller moved out of her townhouse so these buyers could move in. Never a dull moment in real estate. My moving experience? Well, uh, it's sort of a humorous uh, moving experience. and It involves a sleeper sofa. So we've all experienced that, or been uh, stories heard, you've heard stories about it. And our, this, this was, was a set of brothers that had moved into a second floor apartment with a sleeper sofa. So they had gotten it in there last year and they were getting ready to move out. And I hadn't arrived yet during the uh, planning stages. But when I did get there, they had decided to move the couch out the window rather than down the stairs again. So they had tied it up so it wouldn't get uh, unfolded in the whole works and they were lowering it out the window uh, with the ropes. Now, as anyone used ropes, you know, you have to be able to support the weight, but they had chosen clothesline, the cotton clothesline. Yeah, it didn't work so well. So when they got it out the window, the clothesline snapped, smashed on the ground. They didn't have to worry about moving that sofa anymore. So my moving experience is one that I have frankly tried to block from my memory, but um, in thinking about this, it has come up again today. Um, so my husband and I, when we were first married and young, we had moved a couple of times. And one of the times my husband decided that I just had too many things to move and there was a box that didn't really matter. It didn't get put with the moving things, but instead get put in the dumpster. So I lost my whole Christmas village that I had been working on and collecting for about five years. So that was a very good one. My moving story is from a real estate perspective. As a realtor, when we are about to do a closing, on the day of closing, we expect that the seller would be packed up and moved out. On this particular day, I showed up and nothing had been moved. And I looked and it was a hot day. My gosh, it must have been over 100 degrees outside. And I looked at this house and I said, nothing's been packed and we're closing in two hours. And the seller said, it's not my job, it's my husband's job. Ah! Immediately, we kicked into action. I called everyone on my team. I called people I knew to come over and help us. And within two hours, we were moved.